It's cloudy as hell, but it's about 64 degrees according to the car. Nice. Radio's out here. Check this out. It's a bucket of soapy water. Pretty right. And it gets better, we have a sponge. And that means the car is going to get taken care of today, which is nice. Now, I washed it before I left, and it was pretty clean, but it's been driven. The roads have been really wet. We have that, which is disgusting. So we're going to deal with that. Yeah, buddy. It's going to look nice. Okay, she's all wet. You should have seen the stuff that came off the back. It's like gravel, dirt, black shit. Ew. I mean, look at the color. This used to be white ice. This is where the water goes. The driveway slopes back here. It's like brown. It's absolutely disgusting. So now I'll take a sponge to it and really get this stuff off because it's nasty. 25 minutes later, a short phone call with Bobby. It's a, uh, it's a bug. Uh, it's all soaped down, even soaped the wheels, which I usually don't do because they take forever, but I was on a call, so I had time. And uh, they need some wax. See something down in these little corners? It's hard to get that clean. Like you see some discoloration there? Well, you rub it, and it comes off. Ew. I really need, come spring, I'm going to pull all of the wheels off the car individually and clean them inside and out. So I'm going to grab my squeegee and some towels and uh, get her dry. There we go. Everything is dry except for the wheels and the exhaust. I'll do those later with some Zeno stuff. I'm taking the rubber mats out to clean them and then I'm going to vacuum the crap that's in there. That one back there is not too bad. I probably won't clean it, but this is where people sat yesterday. So that will be clean as well as the drivers, which is not in good shape. It's covered in salt. So we'll get these cleaned up with the hose. They had a little bit of work under here too, looking nice and clean. It needs another detail come spring. I would like to get a little bit more picky and get down into little areas like that with some brake clean or something a little stronger. And as you can see, I've got some oil around there I've got to clean. But otherwise, that's in good shape. Doors are done. Uh, there's a couple of spots that really feel like they need wax, so I'm going to do the spray wax. The Zeno purple stuff, whatever that is. Something tells me we should do better. Hang on. Oh, watch me get the flip wet now. I'm not gonna pull a cold. So so soak it in coffee for freak's sake. Jesus. Looking pretty clean. Vacuumed out the door panels and everything. All the carpets, moved the seats all the way back, did up here, moved them all the way up, did back there. Still have yet to do the uh, spray wax. Got a little bit of the doors going on here. I've only used two towels so far. Usually I'm in about six, so I'm being very efficient. But it looks nice. I've got enough daylight left, and holy crap, there's some blue skies out there. Not over there, but hey, it's still in the low 60s and uh, in daylight, so I'll keep going. Oh yeah, about five minutes, well, probably a half hour ago now, I was using this hose to kind of melt this down. And guess what I found over here? It was white. Square. The battery to the flip. Remember I chucked this thing through the snowblower two weeks ago? Well, we found the battery. It's inside right now in a bag of rice. We'll see if it works tonight. You can make your bets in the comment section if it's going to work or not. I bet that it will. Well, guess what works fine? The battery. It's been sitting out here submerged in snow for, uh, I guess that would be about two weeks. That was the snow that came when my dad got here, and that was December 22nd or 3rd. Uh, so it was over there, and the snow is melting as we speak, which is lovely. It's still 59 degrees, which is nice. So I'm going to put this stuff on, and um, actually, maybe I should use the grand finale. I'll probably use that, and then uh, the tire stuff. Wow. That song, Uncle Cracker, I'm going through my iTunes library from April and March 2012 and listening to the songs that are in here just brings me back to the CDs that I made then. Like I probably listened to this song 20 times in the M5 and this would have been in April and May. I can just picture pulling into the high school after my 5-6 off period and parking next to that um, X5 and the green 528 that were in there. A lot of good memories. As I keep going, um, like we drove across the country in 
uh, June. So if I go up to what I added in June, there's going to be a lot of 70s music there. We listened to, um, oh, what was the name of the station we listened to on XM and the X5? From Akron to San Diego, we listened to like four stations. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. 70s on 7, duh. We listened to 70s on 7, and we got a lot of good music. <sighs> God, that was fun. Because, you know, usually I, I sort stuff by date added, so I'm always up here listening to the same shit that I just bought. But if I scroll down a little bit, guess what? Why is there a car out there? It's 3.14 in the morning. It's a little sketchy. Anyways, if I scroll down, then I go back to where I was, you know, obviously all the way back till I made this hard drive partition, January 13th, 2010. Exactly three years ago today. What the hell? Oh, and that song, Night Moves. I added this song to the library um, May 5th, 2012. So I... 12, yes. Yeah. So I would have been listening to this in June and July, and I could just picture cruising up downtown in the middle of summer, all the windows down, it's kind of late at night, it's like 10 o'clock, there's nobody around, just cruising around, windows down, it's 75 degrees. Oh, a lot of good memories. It sounds ridiculous. I know, I'm crazy, but it is 55, 60, 60 degrees in Hudson right now. Holy crap, 60 degrees at 3 o'clock in the morning, that's ridiculous. And that's the key that I need to end this vlog. Did a lot of work with the car today, it looks nice. Um, uh, maybe I'll film more of that tomorrow, and we'll keep doing this stuff tomorrow. So, talk to you guys tomorrow on 763, I believe. Good night.